Well, hello everybody. I'm gonna so show you how to fix OBS. Sometimes OBS has like frame locking and stuff. I know this is a little bit buggy because I'm recording OBS with OBS. But there's problems with some like settings where like you get shuttering and stuff. And you click on settings and you go into, I believe, encoding when that loads where you can change your different buffers like what works for me is when I click on coding to 64 use CBR and then turn that to the 750 bitrate and then over here is zero and then I have it going on my monitor like how s the size of my monitor 30 FPS dependent upon your computer you can either have that higher or lower. 30 FPS works best, at least for my computer, so I have it set to that. You can change it to customize stuff too, or you can change it to like user and motherboard. Audio doesn't no. audio doesn't really matter, but advanced settings, you can. This is where all the stuff counts. Processing priority class set that to high and do a 700 millisecond buffer and then for the 264 CPU preset turn it to ultra fast click yes encoding to main use CFR and then that should be it that's what I have and you might have to monkey around with some settings and whatnot. So like, you know, supply changes. You might have to like, oops, that might mess up my recording. But you may have to turn up your FPS if you have a good enough computer. But stick to 30 FPS if you have a dual core, kind of a bad computer. I got a pretty decent graphics card, but yeah. I'm not sure if broadcast settings, yeah. Now for these, I like to save them as MP4s. Because the file size is smaller, they're easier to edit. Don't pay attention to that. The files are easier to edit and everything with Lightworks. If you don't have that, you should probably get it. Because if you're just starting out, you probably don't have an editing software. And Lightworks is pretty decent. So, I save it to videos and all that and then I have auto reconnect so yep that's pretty much it bye